At EVO 2023, I had the wonderful opportunity to get my hands on and play Project L for the very first time. After more than a few matches and playing every character available, here are my honest first thoughts. Take it one step at a time. Project L is a great new fresh take on the fighting game genre. And here's what I mean. Multiverses, as we know, last year tried to do the 2v2 kind of thing. And that was a platform fighter and it did great. It, for those that remember, it broke records. It died, I know, but it kind of planted a seed in a lot of fighting game players' minds of like, oh, I kind of dig, I kind of like the 2v2 aspect. I don't mind going one-on-one. -on -one. That's all fighting games. That's what we're all about, right? Is the mono and mono, you and me. But to have the team, I mean, we have Marvel vs. Capcom, we have tag team, sure, but the ability to have 2v2. Now I know Project L isn't a true like, you know, both you on screen fighting day or two at the same time. However, it is really cool to literally tag your teammate in, in the middle of a combo or the fight and say, okay, I'm gonna heal real quick. You go in and fight for us. In that aspect, it just felt fresh. It felt new, it felt good. It was really fun in the middle of a combo to tag my teammate in who's right next to me. I was like, yo, I'm gonna tag you in, you finish this combo. And then when you're done, tag me back in and I'll do another one for you. Or you could simply just use your teammate teammates moves as a tag move during your combo so if i wanted to not tag them in just you know just just quite yet i would did a combo tag them in to do the special they left i was still doing my combo that felt really cool it felt really good so it's kind of a mixture of mortal kombat one's cameo system where you can like you know tag in your teammate they do a special move to either extend your combo or finish it but with the extra mechanic of being able to completely tag in your teammate and say okay I'm a little bit hurt. I'm gonna heal what I can while you're doing your thing. And then when you're ready, you tag me back in. And what's cool about that is you can fight your friends, you know, just you and your friend. You go, I'm gonna have my team of two. You can have your team of two, or we can play together. So we can either fight as opponents or we can fight together. And that's really cool. So like when you're tired of just like fighting your friends over and over, how about you fight together for once? And one of the best parts about that was trying to find the best character combos. I don't mean just like, you know, how many, you know, can we, can we do a 20 hit combo? I mean like, yo, which character goes great with this character? And I think that's also gonna be a great mechanic we're gonna find in games like Mortal Kombat 1. But Project L is gonna be great for that reason. Can you have like a giant character with a lot of health and then swap it out for a very fast character to really mix up the pace of the actual fight? I'm going on a rant now about the 2v2. Just know it was really fun and a fresh take on everything that we know for fighting games. Aside from that, the game is pretty mechanically complex. On the surface, it's pretty simple. You know, you have your, you know, your light, your medium, your heavy, your specials, your supers. You have a burst mechanic, kind of like from Guilty Gear. So on the surface, it's pretty basic, but once you break it down, it can get pretty complex. But I don't think it's too complex that it'll be like enough to scare away new players, if that makes sense. I think new players might be a bit intimidated at first glance, but but once you get your hands on, you're playing it for more than an hour or two, you're gonna go, oh, that's what this is, okay. And you get you get the hang of it pretty fast. Like some games that are really mechanically complex take, you know, days or more than a few hours in training mode to really understand the game. And though Project L will have, you know, certain components of that where it'll be like, you, you know, this might take you a long time to really understand and really grasp, but the most part, for the most of it, it's pretty, it's pretty good, it's pretty easy. Like though I'm a fighting game vet, I was starting to grasp a lot of the things, you know, three or four fights in, and I started to hold my own. Keep in mind with all this being said, this is more of a pre-alpha, pre-beta build that we were playing, but even with that, the game still felt really smooth. Like the speed of the characters, the way the game felt when you were jumping in, doing a combos, doing sweeps, rushing in, because they have a run mechanic, which is great. The game felt fast paced, but you know, not too fast paced. It just felt like a really good, Pace fighting game. One step, we've heard enough about the good things. What about the bad things? I'm more of a glass half full kind of guy, so I don't really, I didn't really focus on all the bad things when I was playing it. I mean, some of the moves going into other moves, you know, I don't know if they're trying to do like links or whatever, but it felt a bit janky to try to put this move with that move. Again, pre alpha, I'm sure that's all it is. That'll probably get fixed, but, but for the most part, I mean, putting this move into a special move into a super, it felt pretty good. There were just some that did connect, but they didn't feel as smooth as others. I mean, we only got to play like four or five characters in like two stages, so it wasn't a lot to go off of that. Again, these are just my first hands-on impressions. And with the few games that I got to play, again, I was just very impressed. Like, this is gonna be huge. I don't think you guys understand. They haven't confirmed it, but Project L is probably gonna be free. The skins on the characters look awesome. I love the art style they're going for. It's a 2v2 fighting game, so again, you can fight with your friends or against your friends. The game felt smooth, it felt great. I can't really give a score, you know, out of, oh, it's an eight out of 10. I can't really do that. I'm just trying to, give you my honest first thoughts, what I was thinking while playing it, what I thought about afterwards. I think overall, to put it in a simple sentence, 
The game is great. It's fun. It's simple at the easiest, but pretty complex at the hardest. It's just a fresh new take on the fighting game genre that I'm really glad they're going with. I think if you like fighting games at all, you're gonna really enjoy Project L. But these are just my thoughts. If you played Project L or you've seen gameplay, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of Project L? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What did you like? What did you not like? Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.